guys, my name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, but I'm assuming for my first video, most of you do. Um, today I'm just going to be teaching you how to do my everyday go-to like soft glam makeup. I know that during a time like this where everyone is so scared and you really don't know what's gonna happen. It feels so silly to be like talking about makeup and beauty and something that's so superficial. But to me, I've had a lot of anxiety or I've just had like nothing to do because I'm not leaving the house. So YouTube has just been a place where I can go to learn new things and just keep myself entertained instead of like thinking about, well, what's gonna happen constantly. Also, because I have nothing to do, I figured like, why not film myself? and maybe give you guys something to watch. I find that when I'm really stressed, doing my makeup is just such a way to calm myself down. Um, it just takes my mind off things. And on the bright side, I after I look good and the past three weeks I haven't left my house and I've just like, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, you look like you're having a midlife crisis, like do something. But yeah, so if you guys want to find out what products I use, how I use them, um, keep watching. Okay, so I've already went ahead and moisturized my skin using the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Moisturizer. Next up is primer. I love the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It is one of my favorites, so I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. And I really like to focus it where I have the biggest pores, and then I just distribute the product. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation and this has been my favorite foundation for the past couple of months. It is amazing. Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, this one right here. It really does what it says it's going to do. Every time I put it on, I like pour it, it's just perfect. So I'm just gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand. My favorite way to apply it is with a um, brush. This is the Morphe M439 Dense. It's really good for foundation. I feel like when I use a sponge, it does like look beautiful, but it doesn't give me the coverage that I want and need right now. So I like to start by patting it in, just really pressing the product into the skin. Now, the most important part for me of like making my foundation look flawless is blending. I could sit here and blend forever, especially now that I don't actually have anything to do. My ears are giant. Okay, now that that has been blended in it to perfection, at least from what I can see, I'm just gonna go over some places where I need a little bit extra coverage. So I just took a little tiny drop. I'm gonna dot that on. Aside from it being a little bit annoying to shade match. This is a beautiful foundation. Okay, perfect. Next up is highlighting and I'm going to go in with, where is it? My NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Nougatine, Nougatine Light 2.2. So with that, I'm just going to go under the eyes. So what I like to do is bring it up a little bit higher on the nose into the inner corner and then up and out just to kind of snatch my face a little bit. And then I'm going to do my nose, which is not easy to do while looking at the camera. <laughs> that is crooked. And then I like to bring that onto my forehead and just a tiny bit on the chin. I let the concealer sit so that it gets a little tacky and gives me fuller coverage because my under eye circles are tragic. Okay, now that that's been sitting for a little bit, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender. She's in rough condition, I know. I'm gonna start patting that in. Okay, my nose and the inner corners of my eyes I like to do with a brush. Um, I think it's obvious 
why. So I'm just going in with the um, Urban Decay brush that comes with the Naked 3 palette. I love this side for concealer and like blending it out. It's amazing. And I'm just going to blend out the inner corner here. Now that that's blended in, I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender again. Like I said, blending is like, in my opinion, one of the most important things. Cute. So now we're gonna set that. And my favorite setting powder has been the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Don't you hate when the names are so long, like for what reason? And this is in the shade Banana Bread. It's a beautiful like yellow, really brightens the under eyes. And I'm just gonna take that with a little powder puff and I'm just going to fold it to give it a nice shape for patting under my eye. Now this is a great powder for like really giving you flawless skin. And once I've done the under eye, I'm just going to pat the remaining product into the rest of my face. My hand is tragically white and I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Fake tan never stays on, especially when I'm washing my hands like 50 times a day. Okay, I'm going to contour now and I prefer using a powder contour. I like a subtle contour, not really anything intense. So I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantric. And as you can see, she is well loved. So this bronzer is a beautiful shade, first of all. It's like not too warm, not too cool. It also is very buildable and I like to, you know, build it up to what I like. I'm just gonna follow like my natural cheekbone um, to give, I just like a more nat <laughs> a more natural look natural oh and this is the morphe e3 i love this collection from the morphe brushes they all have like really soft pairs and they're amazing i'm gonna bring it up to the forehead and then the jaw and then i like to blend that down now for my nose i'm just gonna use the same bronzer and a sigma i've had this brush forever so <laughs> the blutters are like large fluff e50 i don't know but this is what it looks like focus and i'm going to use that to contour my nose i'm going to go straight down and then do the tip I like to sort of pat it as well. All right, next up is blush. I love blush these days. It's just so beautiful. Um, really gives you like a youthful glow. I'm gonna go in with a pinky blush. This is Tarte's Amazonian, Amazonian Clay 12 hour bl blush in the shade Party. And then I'm just going to take that with a blush brush. Let's see. This one will do. Morphe E4. I'm going to put that on the apples in my cheeks and bring it up. I really do like to pack it on. Also because blush is like fades really easily, just it's fine to go a little bit overboard. All right, next is setting spray. And this is a, a very important part because I've packed on so much powder. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it's a lot. So the setting spray helps to kind of make that look um, less crusty and dry and more beautiful, radiant, flawless. So I'm going with, in with the Morphe Continuous Mist. I love this. It's so good. It's just so refreshing that you don't want to stop spraying it. My face is wet, but I love it. It just makes the skin look so good. Marries everything together. You probably can't tell, 
on camera. I actually have no idea if you'll be able to tell, but my makeup went from like a three to a 10. Lately, I've really been into like a glow from within kind of look. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but it makes sense to me. So what I'm going to do is use a cream highlighter just on the app, um, on my cheekbones here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. And I'm just gonna pat it onto my finger and then apply that onto my cheekbone. I just really don't want like a heavy glittery highlight. I want it to look like I'm just, just sweating. And I like to apply that after the setting spray, the three tons of setting spray, cause like and this, I was too powdery before. Now I'm going to highlight my nose and I'm just gonna use a little brush like this. The Sigma Lip Brush. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Max Whisper of Guilt. That's what that looks like. Hello. I'm gonna take that with the brush and then put that on the tip of my nose. Nose highlight is, I feel like what really makes a nose contour. Okay, the skin is done. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use three things. So the first is just a double-ended brush like so. The second is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spiced. Spiked. Spiced. And I only really use this end because look at this, like a pen side. Wow. And then I top that off with a brow gel. The, this is the Morphe translucent one. I'm going to start by brushing my brow hairs. What I'm going to do is take this and start drawing. But what I'm doing is basically filling in where I don't have brow hairs, just so I can make my eyebrow a little bit straighter. Now that I have the basic shape I want, I'm going to take this side of my eye. Okay, that's not gonna focus, but you know what this looks like. And I'm going to blend. So I like to draw in the shape and then blend it into the brow. I'm going to just draw a few eyebrow hairs. Now with my brow gel, I'm going to brush the hairs in place. I always like to laugh at the before and after of my eyebrows. Okay, so for eyes, I'm just gonna do um, like a soft glam neutral look using the Urban Decay Ultimate Basic. I'm going to apply my concealer as a base. I don't like to use a lot because I do already have foundation on there. With that same Urban Decay Naked palette brush. I'm going to use that to blend in the concealer. Now I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E27. And I'm going to go in with my bronzer actually. Next I'm going to take a smaller um, brush. This is the Morphe E18. I'm going to take my bronzer and do and my lower lash line. So what I like to do is take it and then bring it up and out like that. So what that does is just give me a really like natural shape to follow. That same brush, I'm just going to go in with the color Faith. It is just a light brown. Finally. And I'm going to go into the outer V here and just darken that up. Now I'm really just packing the color in. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go in and blend it out anyway. But I am also going to do the same thing on the lower lash line here. I'm going to bring it in like that. This is the Morphe M433. 
I'm just going to take Commando, which is like a nude, a darker nude shade, and I'm going to use that to blend. With the same brush, I'm going to grab the darker shade, which is Faith, and start under my eye or lower lash line. I'm gonna pull that out again, and then into the outer V. I'm just gonna use a flat brush like this one. This is the Quo. Oh, I have no idea. Um, yeah, it looks like that. And I'm going to mix these two shades, Nudie and Pregame. So one is a very like pink toned neutral or like nude and the other one's like very yellow toned. Um, I shouldn't say nude, beige. And then I'm gonna mix those two, cause like, I don't know. One's too pink, one's too yellow. So if I mix them, it gives me like the perfect tone. And I'm just going to pat that onto my lid here. And then with the shade Blow, so that's a white, but it's got like a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm going to pat that into the inner corner. Like how amazing is that? Just like brightens it up under my brow bone with just a clean fluffy brush. This is another Quo brush. Again, I can't tell you the name, but they don't have too many. So this one should be easy to find. And I'm gonna blend that. Now I'm going to do an eyeshadow wing. So what you're gonna wanna do is have a dark brown and a black. So I'm gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna mix them a little bit. And you're also gonna want something straight. Now you could do this before your foundation with tape or something. I hate doing my eyes first, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna take like a little card or something. Okay, so I already went ahead and just finished the eyeshadow on the other eye off camera um, while I was looking for like something with a straight edge. What I'm gonna do is go in with the black color. It's a matte black. This is called Black Jack. And I'm going to follow the shape that I've created already. So just like that. And then I'm going to use an eyeliner brush and just use the shadow to draw a wing on the outer corner. I'm gonna go in back with blackjack to darken that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna soften that with a little blending brush like this one, come on. This is the Morphe M506. And I'm gonna go in with that dark brown color, lock out. And I'm just gonna blend that. And I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on the brush and put it down on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this brush again with lock out on it and blend it. Okay, perfect. Um, it looks a little ridiculous now, but we're gonna pop off some lashes and it looks stunning. So the lashes I'm using, I actually get on Amazon. They look like this. They come seven in a pack. I got them for $12. I don't know if the prices went up at all. Um, I'm gonna link them down below. While my lashes are drying, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my eyebrow pen and draw a little flick on the inner corner of my eye. I love this look. I think it just elongates the eye and gives you like such a like sultry look. I like to use the brow pen for that just cause any eyeliner is too dark and I don't like it too dark. I like it to be subtle. Okay, my lashes are on. I'm just going to use a mascara. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, Mascara. I'm just going to lightly coat my lashes. I hate taking off mascara, so if I can use as little as possible, I will. But like, can we just talk about how falsies just transform a look? That's cute. Okay, next up is lips. Now, lips are probably my favorite part of doing my makeup, because I go from like having decent lips to like, wow, are those lip injections? Um, no, they're not. You should see me when I take my makeup off. They're not the same. I'm gonna go in with the K2 
KKW Beauty Lip Liner in a 90s icon. Bring you guys in a little bit closer. And what I like to do is start with the like center of my lip, the Cupid's bow. So see how much higher I'm bringing that in or like bringing that up. I really overline the center and then I kind of bring it in towards the end because if you overline like the ends, I find that it looks a little bit, I don't know, messy. Like that. And then the bottom. And the trick is to use a shade like this, I find, because if I use anything lighter, then you can just tell that it's really overlined but if you use like a dark brown like this you can blend that into your lipstick and it just like it looks um very not natural obviously but a lot more natural than it would look if i was using like a light pink or something so i'm just gonna blend that in i love the kim kardashian lip liners because they are actually very easy to blend in for lipstick, I'm actually gonna mix two. I'm gonna use Max Impulsive and then the KKW Beauty 2.5 Nude. And then in the center, I'm going to do the Kim Kardashian one. Blend that in again. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, I personally love this style of makeup. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any comments for me, more towards constructive criticism or praise, let me know down below. Um, or if you have ever seen me wearing makeup, like a makeup look that you like um, or hair or something, let me know down below so I can film that for you because I need to keep myself occupied. I cannot, I've like run out of shows. I've watched everything on Netflix at this point. Um, so yeah, let me know and thank you for watching. Bye.